Hey guys. All right. So I wanted to record a video as soon as possible. Um, cause I just left the doctor and I wanted to have everything fresh in my mind and kind of ready to go for you guys. So I'm sitting here, um, I'm stopping at Target for some fiber chews. Um, cause that was one of the um, recommendations that the uh, dietitian gave me. So, um, obviously today's Thursday. My official four weeks was Tuesday. So on Tuesday, I weighed in at 205 pounds. Um, so that was down two pounds in the last week. Um, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't bummed out about it. Um, you know, I had obviously seven pounds, seven pounds, four pounds, and then to go down to two, I was bummed. And for honestly, most of the week, I was the same weight. Um, I know I've told you guys that I weigh myself every day um, just to kind of keep track of things. And almost the entire week I, I weighed the exact same and then that last day I lost a pound and I think I lost a pound on the first day of the week so I was a little bummed out um but definitely feeling much more reassured um I did actually record a video on Tuesday and I, I didn't end up posting it because I I think I just needed to hear the doctor say like you're doing the right thing and I've been tracking all of my food religiously in my MyFitnessPal app and I, I just needed to show them you know her my surgeon and also my dietitian what I was eating and like know that I wasn't overeating um because you know that's something that I did before you know I I think back to some of the stuff that I would eat before surgery. And I mean, back in the day, I could eat an entire foot long sub um, from Subway plus some chips and a soda. Like I could eat a, a huge amount of food in one sitting. Um, I wasn't like always eating. So I'm not like a huge like snacker unless I'm at home and I'm bored and then I'm, you know, mindlessly snacking. Um, so I'm really trying to stick to just my three meals a day, but you know, my calories started creeping up to, you know, in the 600s. I know I had a couple days in the 700s and I was just like, oh my God, like, am I overeating? Like what's happening? So no, I have not been overeating. This is normal. Everyone stalls around the four week, you know, three week mark. Um, and it's, it's just our bodies checking in and saying, you're losing some weight. What's going on? Are you starving? Are you stressed out? Are you sleeping? Um, and if all of those things are good, then it's like, oh, okay, well, I can, I can shed some of this fat, no problem. If you're stressed out, if you're not sleeping, all of these things, and you're under like high stress, then your body's gonna hold on to that weight because it thinks that it's in a stressful environment, such as being stranded in the woods, starving to death. So, um, like I said, I, I feel a lot better after talking to the doctor. So I am recording a new video because I need to be excited about two pounds. Two pounds is two pounds. And that actually um, marks exactly 20 pounds down since surgery, which is awesome. And 36 pounds down overall. Um, and actually this morning I was 204. Um, so there's another freaking pound. Um, when I did go to the doctor, obviously having clothes on and having, you know, drink water and had my protein shake, I was 206, but I knew that this morning, you know, I was, I was 204. So, um, I'm still really proud of myself. I know that, you know, what I'm eating is right and, um, I'm on the right track. So, um, you know, my dietitian said um, they don't like to give specific calorie and like macro goals because some people can't physically handle that. And I was like, that's fine with me, but I want a cap. Like, I want you to tell me like, don't eat more than this in each category. So um, we landed on 880 calories 
And she said, if I go up to like a thousand, that's fine. If I'm, you know, working out extra hard one day or once I go back to work and I'm, you know, moving a lot. Um, but right now we're capping it at 880 calories. Um, no more than 50 grams of carbs and then still, you know, landing in the 60 to 80 grams of protein range. And that, you know, if we do the math, it breaks it down to about 40 grams of fat. Um, which she said, you know, if I'm lower in, in carbs one day and higher in fats, and then that makes me feel better, do that. Um, so I told her like with my brain and my anxiety, I just need a cap on this. Um, so I feel really good that now I have that. So I know that, you know, anything in that in and around that range is going to be fine um i also let my surgeon know that i can drink a premier protein in about 20 minutes and i wanted to know exactly how big my pouch was and she's like your pouch all healed is about the size of your palm and that liquids don't you know sit in your stomach they don't they don't need to be you know digested they kind of just go right through which she told me before and I knew in my head but you know there was one part of me that was like oh my god I'm stretching my stomach out and she's like no you're not that's why we want you to now eat food because she's like are you feeling you know satiated are you feeling full and I was like I don't feel like Full per se but like I'll hiccup or I'll burp and I'm like okay that's enough and I stop I haven't pushed myself to that full feeling yet because I'm a little afraid of, to do that um so that cleared up that um she said I am clear to go running I'm clear to lift weights like I'm 100% you know in the clear to do everything um so that's exciting you know i can get back to weightlifting and you know doing the things that i love in the gym and you know in my garage gym and then um the dietitian last thing she told me to start incorporating some more fruit so my energy levels have just been crazy low and i do get dizzy like if I stand up too fast sometimes. Um, so she said that, you know, before I incorporate caffeine again, um, whew, excuse me, to try and, you know, up my carb count, but with some clean carbs like fruit. So I'm going to try some of that out. And then I also, I don't like drinking fiber, um, you know, like the mixes and stuff like Benefiber and stuff. I, I don't like that. So I told her like, because I'm not eating as many vegetables, I really want to try and, you know, get some more fiber in. So I'm at Target and I'm going to get some fiber chews. She said any brand really um, is fine. Whatever flavors I want. So like the little chewy, um, what are they like? They're not gummies but they're not like the vitamins where they're like hard and crunchy. I don't know how to explain it, <laughs> but yeah. So other than that, um, NSVs this last week, I started picking Oliver up. Um, he's about 23 pounds and I didn't have any pain. You know, I find that if I'm picking him up a ton during the day, then by the end of the day, like that larger incision is a little sore, but, um, that was kind of a, a big one because, you know, it's really hard. He's 19 months and he wants me to hold him and he wants to cuddle me and, you know, those things. And so that's been kind of hard to not be able to pick him up. So I'm excited for that. And what else for non-scale victories? Um, I think just feeling better in my skin. Oh, another NSV actually is um measurements so i took measurements and i lost approximately i think it was um around an inch in my arms um two inches off of each thigh Whew, sorry Whew. two inches off my stomach two inches off my hips two and a half inches off my bust of course um so overall i lost 16 and a half inches so that's huge. That's like a huge, huge amount of, you know, inches to lose. And I'm definitely seeing it in my clothes for sure. 
Um, I go back to work on Monday and so I need to try on all my jeans because I haven't worn jeans since surgery. So I don't know which ones fit me, which ones don't. Um, I had a few that were like really tight on me pre-surgery. So I'm hoping to fit into those comfortably. Um, I do have a sewing machine. So if I have to, you know, put a couple darts in some of my jeans, I'll do that. Cause definitely not ready to buy anything new. Um, oh my goodness. This is what I'm talking about, about, you know, energy levels. Um, I'm tired. <laughs> so, um, yeah, other than that, you know, it's, it's just trying to get my mind wrapped around, you know, being back at work. Um, and just, you know, getting back into the grind. Um, you know, the dietitian told me today, she's like, make sure you eat. Um, cause you know, I could see myself like skipping lunch, you know, here and there. And when you're only eating, you know, 600 calories a day, skipping a meal can be pretty dangerous. So, um, I don't want to pass out at work or have anything crazy happen. So, um, that's one thing that I'm going to really focus on is, you know, making sure I get my meals in. They recommend three snacks a day as well as three meals but I told her like I'm scared that if I'm having you know six meals or like three snacks and then you know or three meals and three snacks in between that's gonna kind of open up doors to more of my like food addiction and so she's like nope some people just like three meals and they leave it at that and they're good to go so I'm gonna try and stick with that. You know, maybe once I go back to work, I'll want a snack here and there because snacking's faster than trying to eat a whole meal because I, I am going to have to take a lunch break now because I'm not going to be able to just scarf my food down in 10 minutes and then get back on the sales floor. Like I have to sit there and mindfully eat. You know, it takes me at least 20, 20 or so minutes to, to eat, you know, three ounces of a meal. Um, so, you know, it's just gonna all be trial and error. And, you know, my team's awesome. So I know that they'll be patient with me. Um, and we'll just kind of see how it goes. But yeah, I'm gonna run into Target. And um, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I cut my hair. So I cut about five inches off and we did a treatment on it um, to hopefully prevent some inevitable hair loss. Um, so I'm going to do a video on that for you guys just kind of talking about what we did and why we did it and how I am trying to sort of get ahead of the game. Um, it's going to happen, but if I can hopefully slow it down a little bit or, you know, minimize it, um, that's, that's my goal because we all know that, you know, a lot of us, our hair is our security blanket. So yeah, I'll be doing a whole video on that. Um, but yeah, other than that, um, it's sunny today, so I'm going to take the, the little babe out and we're going to go play and, um, you know, walk around the neighborhood. That'll be my cardio today. Get outside, get some fresh air, and, um, I hope you all have a wonderful, beautiful day. Okay, I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.